Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this Saturday edition of Thoroughbred Action. Can you believe it? Not only March 23rd, but our second to last weekend here this meet at Gulfstream Park. Jason Blewett right outside the walking ring. We've got a Saturday Baker's Dozen hot off the press coming your way. In fact, we go up, way up, to Pete Aiello for a lot more. 13 races on the Saturday program in South Florida with the carryover in the Rainbow Six of more than $2.1 million. Chamber of Commerce weather again today with a fast main track and a firm turf. First of the day over the main track at six furlongs, maiden claimers in for 12,500. A field of 10, heavily favored, number seven, oh, Danny Bear. Racing at Gulfstream. Newcomer Trini Alex was slow to go, and Totono was also a step slower than the others. Shanghai Gogo -Go from the fence is fired up and moves right to the early lead. Moving with him in the early stages, Rolsas for Jimmy, and they go two and a half better than the favorite O'Danny Bear third. Rising Storm is at the rail on her. This is between horses. Two back to All-Star Siler, then Totono. Trying to get started out wide as Molokai Knight. At the back of the field, two steps slew and Trini Alex. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. This early tussle continues as Shanghai Gogo -Go has the lead three wide oh danny bear gets the cue to go on the attack and does exactly that in between horses and rolls us for jimmy three back to malachi knight then honor this and all-star siler nothing yet from totono or trini alex with a quarter of a mile left to go alvarado makes the blitz now on the big favorite and oh danny bear takes the lead rolls us for jimmy tries to stay on second shanghai gogo -Go is a driven third then malachi knight down the center and all-star siler with trini alex and totono final eighth of a mile oh danny bear shakes free to a three-length lead. Earl Sass for Jimmy can't get him. All-Star Siler's up to third to the finish. First race favorite to winner. Oh, Danny Bear on the board as an odds-on choice. He'll win by three. Second, Rosas for Jimmy. Third, All-Star Siler. Totono ran home for fourth in 113. Flat. Favorite gets the job done to kick off the program as it's the Ontario bred son of Yes It's True. Oh, Danny Bear, who's too much under jockey Robbie Alvarado, the trainer Mike DiPaolo in the Bears stable. Second six, Rosas for Jimmy, ahead of the five, All-Star Siler, ran third. We go to the second race and start the early pick four. Second race on turf at a mile of the 16th. A field of seven signed on. Favorites were two, Belgrano, and five, Stock Trade. And they're off. Outside, clear for action is exactly that, and put into play early by Ray Lou, right to the early lead. Silent Tiger away in second, and Russian Wine is parked at the rail third. Belgrano's between horses, stock trade is wide, with Tufa between horses and three to the trailer. Get the facts. Around the first turn they go, and up front, clear for action, and Gutierrez in front to length and a quarter. He's got them stacked and packed, as stock trade is three wide and up into second. Down at the inside and Russian Wine, a joint third with Silent Tiger in between horses. Tufa is a bit wide on the course while third last. Belgrano's on hold second last, and on the outside of him is Get the Facts. Quarter speed was 23 and four. Down the back stretch they go. Five furlongs to go with clear for action in front narrowly. Pressed along now by Stock Trade, turning up the pressure to be within a neck of the lead. Two lengths back to Silent Tiger in third. Russian Wine is at the rail, then Tufa. Belgrano unhurried at this stage while second last and only four lengths off the lead. And the trailer is the gray, get the facts. Inside half a mile from home as they get ready to leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Clear for action on top by a neck. Stock trade is second. Tufa, three wide on the outside third. Belgrano picks a path between horses. He's now drawing closer out wide on the course and get the facts. Silent Tiger is last as they round the far turn. Inside three from home and the advantage still belongs to clear for action with a host of pursuers on the outside stock trade. Tufa, three wide. Belgrano is getting loose and coming on now toward the inside less than a quarter of a mile to go. Clear for action on the inside. Stock trade on the outside. Shoulder to shoulder for a final eighth of a mile. Clear for action. Battles on toward the outside. Stock trade into the clear. Belgrano. Clear for action. Held together perfectly by Ray Lou. And clear for action. Will win it. Close for second. Belgrano or stock trade in 141 and three. Jockey Ray Lou Gutierrez invades from New York and it's Ray Lou 2.0 here this afternoon as number six. Clear for action. Perfectly rationed on the front end. Gets it's a four to one success. Under jockey Ray Lou Gutierrez for Mike Maker and owners Ken and Sarah Ramsey. Two Belgrano was second, five stock trade ran third. Fans of all shapes and sizes here at Gulfstream Park. We'll be right back. Don't go away. The best chance for success begins with a solid foundation. 
At Hardacre Farm, early personal one-on-one -on -one care starts the journey to becoming a champion. Bred to leading stallions, our mares represent the highest standards, Hardacre Farm's signature in the breeding industry. Based in Ocala, Florida, breeder and owner Amy Tarrant has inspired excellence throughout her entire career. In your quest for success, start with Hardacre Farm, breeding the champions of tomorrow. Back now for the third race at five and a half furlongs. Claimer is in for a price tag of $6,250. A field of eight, the favorite was the two, Queen Roller. And they're off. Good start inside for Queen Roller. Good start from between for first distinction. Moving out the rail, Princess Knoll won't be far away. Out of there, fourth goes Sol Sarita. Back at the inside is Miss Surprise. Out wide there goes Bella's allowed to settle today. At the back of the field are Bright Venezuelan and 40 Sweetheart. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. Advantage to Queen Roller by a neck. First distinction is within the neck of the leader while racing in second. There goes Bella is together with Miss Surprise. Sol Sarita works between horses. Bright Venezuelan weaving through horses is under Nick Juarez. She draws within five lengths of the lead behind an opening quarter mile of 22 and four. They move now to the top of the stretch with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Queen Roller held together by Jaramillo leads the way a length and a quarter. The danger might be bright Venezuelan in the blue colors trying to split horses out wide in first distinction top of the lane and Queen Roller sets sail for the money. She's at the eighth pole and three on top. Bright Venezuelan is loose and charging from between horses first distinction with Salsarita down the stand side and 40 sweetheart but it's all about Queen Roller. Queen Roller and Jaramillo to win it and win it by three in the end. Second is Bright Venezuelan. 40 Sweetheart is third. First distinction. Finish fourth. Number two, Queen Roller secured the lead and the rail and led her field on a merry chase in today's third race, getting the job done as the odds on favorite for under jockey Amisael Jaramillo, trainer Gilberto Zerpa, and owner Moch Mark. Second to six, Bright Venezuelan. Third with the eight, 40s Sweetheart. Let's go to the fourth race on turf at a mile and a 16th. Claimers in for $16,000. A field of 10 off-time favorites included the nine, Gilded Warrior. And number one, are you talking to me? And they're off. From the center, that's sent from heaven who begins well. Gilded Warrior moves up on the outside second. Naughty Bowie is together with false accusation third and fourth. Golden Decision is away racing in fifth, followed by Are You Talking to Me in Wigwam Summer. American Ninja saves ground at the inside with Arpanella and Manhattan Project at the back of the field as Sent from Heaven is the leader. Sent from Heaven and Chris Landeros by length and the two-path second is Gilded Warrior. Three wide third, false accusation. Good trip early for Naughty Bowie, racing fourth down toward the inside under Rafael Hernandez. Two lengths in front of an improving Are You Talking to Me who is inside of Golden Decision. Then it's American Ninja with Wigwam Summer and Arpanella out the back door is Manhattan Project. Opening quarter was 24 and 1. Down the back stretch they go. They try to slack in the mid race tempo with Sent from Heaven in front, but only by a neck. Gilded Warrior is there. Second, here's a move from Are You Talking to Me? Armio has rail position and he's all the way up to challenge for the third spot now. Following that move was American Ninja. Golden Decision stays three wide, two better than Arpanella, who rallies outside of Wigwam Summer. And the trailer is Manhattan Project. 48 and 3 for a half mile speed as they leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. It's still sent from heaven with the lead. On the outside in Gilded Warriors, second, Naughty Bowie poised to strike. So is Are You Talking to Me? So is Golden Decision. So is American Ninja. They need out. Who gets out first might have a roll here after three quarters in 113 and flat. They're at the top of the stretch. Gilded Warrior has the lead. On the outside, Naughty Bowie shakes free and is charging now. Here's Naughty Bowie on the outside of Gilded Warrior for the lead. Naughty Bowie and Rafael Hernandez take charge. Trying to hold on to second is Gilded Warrior, then Golden Decision. Naughty Bowie for Natalie Fox by two in the end. Second Golden Decision, third is Gilded Warrior in 142. And a 10 to one overlay on number six, Naughty Bowie, who was nine to two on the morning line and parlays a perfect trip to a win under jockey Rafael Hernandez. 10 to one the price for Natalie Fox and owners Sandra New and Aaron Haberman. Three Golden Decision was second. Nine Gilded Warrior had to settle for third. Let's go now to race number five and start a pick three, West Point Thoroughbreds race of the day. Florida bred maidens travel six furlongs. Scratch number six, Glory of Florida, a field of six. The favorite was the one, Amnesty. And they're off. Super
for Stonehenge begins well. The newcomer, unpublished, is up to tile challenge from second. Rocket to the Moon is out of there third. Amnesty are ridden fourth. Back to the outside and Bo Trace, and blessed by the best is last of all past the 5 8. With the advantage, it's two to one shot Super Stonehenge and Leparu in front of Unpublished, who tries to keep up second. Working three ahead of Rocket to the Moon, third. Amnesty now moving, trying to get to the outside. He's now racing in fourth while hemmed in. Gap of three to Bo Trace and three more to blessed by the best. 22 and two for the opening quarter, less than three furlongs to go. Super Stonehenge paves the path and leads by three. Up on the outside, Rocket to the Moon is a joint second alongside Unpublished. Amnesty tried to get out. Once he got out, he had no kick. Bo Trace is on his outside, three lengths in front of Blessed by the Best as the advantage ball remains with Super Stonehenge. Super Stonehenge off the top of the turn, leads it by five and a half. From between horses, blessed by the best. Now Amnesty is loose and moving into second. Down the center and Bow Trace with Rocket to the Moon. But this was all about Super Stonehenge from the start. And the son of Spitestown running up the score. Super Stonehenge in a jog. He wins by nine or ten. Amnesty second, blessed by the best third. Then Bow Trace in one ten. And one. Number five, Super Stonehenge secured the lead, something he was nowhere near in his career debut going long on the turf. Once the son of Spitestown got to the front, it was all over. Julian Leparu on board for the winning ride for Mark Cassie in the Live Oak Plantation. One Amnesty second, three blessed by the best, ran third. We go now to race number six of the afternoon, co-feature race today, the Eddie Limit Stakes on the main track at six furlongs. A field of five, the favorite was the two, Smoke and Deb. And they're off in the Eddie Limit Stakes. Out wide, Brunette Princess wins the break. Smoke and Dev being sent along in between horses. Question of the day makes it a party. Miss Marcella is second last, and the trailer is getting warmer. The speed of the speed is the favorite, Smoke and Deb, but she's pressed hard for every yard by question of the day, who's racing on the flank of the leader while second only a neck off the front. A gap of four to Brunette Princess ahead of Miss Marcella, and getting warmer has had pace to chase through the opening quarter mile in 22 and one. Around the far turn they go, three furlongs remains, and with the advantage it's Smoke and Deb, but question of the day has given her no breathers, and now question of the day is up to challenge for the top. These two are five ahead of Miss Marcella, who's a driven third. Brunette Princess is yet to pick up her feet and getting warmer has been last of all throughout with a quarter of a mile left to go. Upset might be in the works here. Smoke and Deb on the inside. Question of the day on the outside. Miss Marcella, 19 to 1 in charging. Then getting warmer toward the rail. Eighth of a mile to go. Smoke and Deb is dead game. She battles on. Down the center and Miss Marcella. Late run from getting warmer and Brunette Princess. 16th to go. Miss Marcella grinding away. Brunette Princess surging at her. Miss Marcella, Brunette Princess. Fire! Photo finish! Really, really close. Miss Marcella inside. Brunette Princess on the outside in 112 and 2. Tight finish in today's Any Limit Stakes. In fact, too tight to call. Number one, Mar Miss Marcella. And number five, Brunette Princess. Dead heat for the victory. Good news for the fans of Bodie Meister as he sired both fillies. Miss Marcella owned by Palmar Racing and Morgoth and trained by Antonio Sano. I'm Isayel Jaramillo, the rider. Brunette Princess handled by Chris Landeros for Gustavo Delgado and OGMA Investments. Time for a commercial break. Still to come, the Rainbow Six. Don't go away. And Go Zipper is pulling away. Go Zipper blows them away with an eye-opening performance. Back now for race number seven on the card, start of another pick three, one mile on turf. Claimers in for a price tag of $16,000. Scratch 13 and 14, field of 12. Favorite was the seven, Ding Dong Ditch. Chief White Sox away well to take the lead. Up on the outside, Rumbago moves to challenge. Away in third is Cape Desiderato. Moving out the rail is Skaskatu. And on the far outside goes Mota Tan. Then back between horses, the mighty judge and alien invasion is on heels in the comeback try. Then back to the outside goes Silver Beach. Ding Dong Ditch is between horses and Vassie is along the rail. Then Gradar's resolve and the trailer is forever. Admiral. 
Around the first turn, and the leader is Chief White Sox on top for Masonette by length. Up on the outside, Rumbago is there second. Racing in third is Motatan, held up and keyed up is Skatsutu. Sakutu is now only two lengths off the lead, but Berrios having a hard time getting him to settle down, a length better than Alien Invasion. Then Cape Desiderato, three wide out there is Silver Beach. The favorite Ding Dong Ditch, held up in traffic under Castellano. He's about seven lengths off the lead, working ahead of the mighty judge with Vassi at the rail. Great R's resolves on the far outside, and the trailer is Forever Admiral. Inside half a mile from home through a 48 and one half mile. Around the far turn they race. It's Chief White Sox and Manny Cruz on top by a length and a quarter. Motatan moves to the leader now, second toward the rail. Satsusuku is now moving up on the far outside. The Mighty Judge, or rather Silver Beach, gets the rally going. The one that's looking for room is the big favorite, a Ding Dong Ditch. Off the turn in the stretch drive. Chief White Sox, he's 70 to one and he's in front. Motatan is second at the rail and third is Ding Dong Ditch down the center and Silver Beach. Up front, Chief White Sox has the lead. Ding Dong Ditch, loose and charging. Does he have enough time? No, maybe. I'm not sure. It's too tight to call. Chief White Sox would be a huge upset with charging hard. Ding Dong Ditch, photo finish in 136. Flat. What a brutal beat if you had number seven, Ding Dong Ditch, who was much the best horse, just ran out of racetrack. That's only half the story. The other half is who won it. Number two, Chief White Sox at 70 to one. Off the long layoff under jockey Manny Cruz, the son of mass media gets the victory for Richard Morton and a trainer Jennifer Quinona. Second number seven, Ding Dong Ditch, ahead of number six, Vassi, ran third. We go to the eighth race of the day and lead off the Rainbow Six sequence, made in claimers on turf at five furlongs, Phillies and Marizin for $16,000. Scratch the one, Vina, a field of 10. Favorite was the eight, Sacrifice. And they're up. From the center, Go Girl, gone, fires to the top. Up on her outside, it's Mardi Gras Girl away with speed. Farther out in Sacrifice, trying to get over while using speed to do it. Meyer Crown is away racing in fourth and Magic Maker and Entree Encore. A gap of two and a half to Anjali, racing outside of Hot Fudge Honey. The two at the back are North Palm Beach and Cres Bakula. Past the half mile, moving to the far turn. Three furlongs left to go. Three wide. Sacrifice is having to cover some ground. From between horses, Mardi Gras Girl along the inside and Go Girl gone. Magic Maker is fourth. Fifth inside is Entree Encore. Racing up on the outside of her is Meyer Crown. A gap of three more to Anjali with a quarter of a mile left to get. 21 and three for the opening quarter speed. Here's Magic Maker up and on the outside of Sacrifice. Now there's a room for Entree Encore. Go Girl gone is still right there. Eighth of a mile to go. Lee El Reyes and Magic Maker have now moved to a clear lead. Entree Encore loose and charging. Magic Maker's on top. Entree Encore is flying on, but out of time. Magic Maker wins. Second Entree Encore, third is Sacrifice in 57 and 1. Somewhat of an aptly named favorite in today's eighth race. Number eight, Sacrifice. He was sacrificed on the far outside under Paco Lopez. You just can't give up that much ground sprinting on the turf here at Gulfstream Park and have any success. Getting the trip was number five, Magic Maker, and she got the victory. Daughter of Shanghai, Bobby is owned and bred by Peter Marabelli. Tammy Levy, the winning trainer, Lionel Reyes on board for the winning ride. Let's go to the ninth race and start the late pick five. One mile over the main track. Claimers in for $6,250. Scratch number two, more illusions. Heavily favored, number six, Mr. McFadden. And they're off. Mr. McFadden was not off very well. In fact, he's one of the last to get underway. It was a good start for Al Cor in the center of the course, who heads off for the early lead. Pirate's Treasure has speed, and moving out the rail, Smart Return is a bit keen, and crossing over from the outside, King Billy to assume control. King Billy and jockey Nick Juarez have the lead by a length and a half. Alcor is second. Here's Mr. McFadden rushing through traffic now to claim third. Back to fourth, Pirate's Treasure. Away fifth is Smart Return. Then it's three to Brant and Fightin' Irish Tabot. Down at the inside, High Risk Strategy is second last. Mass Approval is last of all after a 24-4 and four opening quarter. Mr. McFadden just does not look comfortable. He's now back between horses and racing third as they go half a mile from home. With the advantage, Alcor and Angel Rodriguez by an X. 
King Billy is there second. Up on the outside at Smart Return now third. Mr. McFadden has been making hard work of it the entire way. He's racing in fourth. Back at the inside, Pirate's Treasure trying to run home as Mass Approval. Back at the inside in high-risk strategy. Then Brant and Fight and Irish Tabot as they round the far turn. 48 seconds for a half mile. Mass Approval up and on the outside to challenge Alcor for the top. Back to third in King Billy. Then comes Smart Return. Mr. McFadden's not gone away, but he's not made a very impressive run yet. After three quarters and 113 and three, Alcor still there. Alcor has the lead by two and a half. Mass approval second from the back. High risk strategy is underway with a lot of ground to make up and it's 16th to go and Alcor to get. Alcor and Angel Rodriguez have no dangers. It's Alcor for Harvey Tenenbaum to win it by two and a half. Second high risk strategy, third high mass approval and fourth was King Billy in 140 and three. Number six, Mr. McFadden, just never comfortable in today's ninth race, and the upset was on in the form of number five, Al Cor, who scores under jockey Angel Rodriguez for Gillian Andreessen and Harvey Tenenbaum. That outfit has been going good the last couple of weeks. Second, number seven, High Risk Strategy, ahead of number three, Mass Approval. That's the second time in as many races he's run well. He got third at a big price. We go to the 10th uh, race now, the start of the late pick four. Claimers on turf at one mile. Price tag here is $20,000. Scratch the alternates, 13 through 16, a field of 12. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Shall return was a step slow. From the center, Teenage Idol springs out to head for the early lead. Host of pursuers include Trixie's Time and By Golly Miss Dolly. Away fourth is Free to Fly, getting a good early spot. A behind me in battle trio floated wide was Teenage Idol. Back at the inside and now racing from fifth position is Jeannie on the beach. She's also getting a good run off a very quick early pace. A length and a half to Lady Kim with C.T. Voss on the outside. Followed widest of all by Rocky. Quick point in the Rapoli colors is down toward the rail. In between horses goes Zal's Dreams racing ahead of Bobby Lee. And at the back of the field, the trailer and about 15 lengths off the lead is Shall Return. Opening quarter was 22 and two. Down the back stretch they go. Trixie's time and Luca Panici paving the path. They lead by two and a half. Teenage Idol second, free to fly third. By golly, Miss Dolly dropping back to be fourth. Passed now by Jeannie on the beach and Lady Kim. C.T. Voss is four wide. Five wide, Rocky. Three wide and trying to get underway is Zal's Dreams. Three back to Bobby Lee, then back to Shall Return. And the favorite quick point is 12th and last with less than three eighths of a mile remaining. Around the far turn they go. Trixie's time has the lead. Lady Kim rallies to take second. Free to fly is now third. Backpedaling teenage idol and Jeannie on the beach. Rocky and Lugo underway as they move for home. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Luca Panici and Trixie's time trying to maintain the lead. Down the center. Rocky's the danger. In between horses and free to fly. Here's Rocky. Let go by Lugo on the outside to take on. Trixie's time for the lead and Rocky powers past. Rocky springs the upset. Trixie's time was second, closer for third. Lady Kim or Zhao's dreams, then free to fly in 136. And hold on to your hat, folks. Bombs everywhere. As number 12, Rocky is the race winner, making her turf debut. She remains undefeated and she wins at 40 to 1. Second, number one, Trixie's time at 45 to 1. And third was the nine, Lady Kim. She was 50 to 1. Massive prices to start the late pick four. Let's go to the 11th race and start the late pick three. A mile and a 16th on turf. Starter allowance optional claiming horses in for a price tag of $50,000. A field of eight signed on. Favorites were five, the man behind the man, and six, appealing briefs. And uh, they're off. Level beginning. From between horses, Escondera begins well, moving out the rail. Grand Journey won't be far away. National Honor has speed and park wide. The man behind the man looking to get over. Then back to Carlos Sixes, moving out the rail. Appreciato from between horses. It's appealing briefs, and the early trailer is caloric. Around the first turn they go. Robbie Alvarado hugs the fence with Grand Journey, who has the lead by a length and a quarter. The man behind the man races from second. National Honor is a reserve third. Back to fourth, Escondera. Then comes the favorite appealing briefs, racing to the outside of Appreciato. Out the back is Carlos Sixes and Caloric. 24 seconds for the opening quarter speed. There's more than five, less than five furlongs to go. Grand Journey has the lead by ahead. The man behind the man up on the outside is now second. Third is Escondera. Wide on the course and moving up is Carlos Sixes. At the rail in National Honor. Held up between horses appealing briefs. He'll need to find a way through. On the outside in Caloric and at the rail Appreciato. 
48 and 1 for a half mile speed as they leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. Grand Journey still has the lead. Up on the outside, the man behind the man, still right alongside second. Escondera three wide third. Paco getting after National Honor, who starts to launch a bid. Out wide in Carlos Sixes from between horses. It's appealing briefs. Out the back are Appreciato and Caloric as they run to the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 111 and 4. The man behind the man turns first with the lead, but work to do. Into the clear comes National Honor to track him down. Down the center in Escondera. Final eighth of a mile. Leperu asks for more from the man behind the man. And the man behind the man has the lead. The man behind the man is front and center. Second is Escondera. It's close after that. 141 flat. Julian Leparu notches his second victory of the afternoon. It comes aboard the son of Quality Road. Number five, the man behind the man. Goes very well in the late stages of this race. For Marcus Vitali and owners Catapano, Goldberg, Reese, and Reese. Second, number three, Escondera. And third was number two, National Honor. Time for a commercial break. Still to come, the feature race of the day. The Hutchison is right after this. Whether you're at home or at the track, have a stake in the race when you bet with ExpressBet. Sign up for an ExpressBet online betting account and receive up to a $500 sign-up bonus. Now for race number 12 on the program, the Hutchison Stakes, a grade three contest for 100,000 in guaranteed purse money at six furlongs. Scratch number five, Lutzky, a field of four. Favorite was two, Federal Case. And they're off in the Hutchison. Gladiator King, the first to get underway, moving out the rail that's in the loop to be second. Topper T is third, and the favorite Federal Case allows the pace to develop ahead of him, last of the four as they head down the backstretch. Leonel Reyes puts Gladiator King on the lead, and Amisael Jaramillo is perched on his outside with Topper T second in the loop. The recent maiden winner is third under Toledo and has to quicken already, and Federal Case is still last inside half a mile away. 22 seconds flat for the opening quarter around the far turn. Gladiator King held together up front. Topper T waiting to pounce while second. Four ahead of Federal Case. And in the loop is at the back of the field. They're two by two with less than three eighths to go. Gladiator King, he's 12 to one. Longest price in the field. And he still has the lead. Now Topper T working harder to stay with him second. Federal Case is a driven third. 45 seconds for a half mile. Might be in the midst of an upset here as Gladiator King cuts the corner and opens up. He's at the eighth pole on top by five. Up into second or trying to get there is Federal Case, but nobody's going to get Gladiator King. Gladiator King brought his running shoes today, and the son of Curlin takes the Hutchison gate two wire. Second Federal Case, third topper T, and then in the loop in 110 and four. Number three, Gladiator King. He was a stakes winner coming into the race, and he's now a stakes winner at Gulfstream. He goes gate to wire at 12 to one. Leonel Reyes on board for the winning ride for trainer Jaime Mejia and the Thoroughbred Champions Training Center. Second, number two, Federal Case, and third was the four, Topper T. We go now to the 13th race of the afternoon. Today's 13th race is a maiden claiming race on the turf. Price tag here is $20,000. A scratch of 13, 14, and 15. Heavy on Toledo rides. Number four, Wheeler 45, 12 to the gate. This was a wide open betting race. And runners on. From the center, Wheeler 45 gets the first call. Moving out the rail, Wink and a Nod is offensive-minded with prolific runner and hijacker not far away as Wink and a Nod and prolific runner land 1-2. Hijacker dropped over to the inside to get a good tracking spot in third, followed by Wheeler 45 and Majestic Hero. Three wide is indisputably linked, racing ahead of Sky D. Newcomer Live Like Larry is next. Two and a half back to Jess Kitten You with Pesca Connie down toward the inside. He's dropped better than 10 or like, uh, links off the lead ahead of Karamchand, and the trailer is Commander Fish. 
22 and 3 for a sharp opening quarter. Wink and a nod, and Lionel Reyes has the lead by length. Long shot prolific runner is forcing the issue second. Majestic Hero is now making a mid-race move on the outside. Also off cover is Hijacker to make a mid-race move. So some movement in the mid-race uh, mid part here. Four wide and indisputably linked. He's really the reason for that mid-race movement as he's moving up on the outside. Then it's Sky D back to the inside and Wheeler 45 trying to run home as Live Like Larry. Just kidding you is next. Pescacani and Karam Chand as they round the far turn. 47 and one for the opening half mile. Many chances here with the advantage it's wink and a nod tackled by hijacker on the outside sky d looking to get into the clear for jose bautista wheeler 45 is six wide under toledo and they turn for home sky d loose and charging at hijacker who has the lead wheeler 45 down the center coming at him and coming on eighth of a mile to go hijackers in front wheeler 45 sky d second and third hijacker still there hijacker and rafael hernandez will win it by a length and a half second is sky d third is Wheeler 45 then live like Larry and just kidding you number three hijacker takes advantage of a nice trip and gets the maiden diploma here today under jockey Rafael Hernandez for Jenna Sitard and trainer Sitatar. number nine Sky D and a big number was up for second ahead of the four Wheeler 45 who ran third big prices in the pick five and rainbow six sequence the fleet pick five good for more than eighty thousand dollars six figures in the rainbow six did have multiple winning tickets. Rainbow Six more than 100,000 on a 20 cent return. Carry over tomorrow more than $2.3 million. And that's it. Excellent running of the Hutchison today. We do it all again tomorrow though. A 12 race Sunday card that gets underway at 110. About seven days out from the expressbet.com Florida Derby. Good night everybody. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. What do you say? Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.